eating at the Mercadito today in East Los Angeles, Boyle Heights. It's about to be legendary. I'm excited for y'all to see this, try the food, hospitality, you know what I mean? People might kind of be shocked, to be honest. All right, man, this is the, uh, hopefully the first of many, <laughs> me and Duno's show where we go eat all these motherfucking places, man. Damn, it's cold as fuck. Yeah, it's super cold. The next two days, Duno, is a fun fact. The next two days, they said it's gonna be the coldest of the whole year. Thank God I'm big. Swear Don't quote me, I'm not a weatherman. <laughs> We're at El Mercadito in Los Angeles on the say, say again? El Mercadito. Oh, wait. El Lacarito. Mer. Mer. Ca. Cra. Dito. Dito. There's Mercadito. No. Mercadito. There we go. You try it. But we're at the Mercadito. We're about to eat some good food. You feel me? The Bay do not have the best Mexican food. It's right here in LA. Right here with Duno. This shit is fire right this here. This is real about a munch right now. Like, hey, oh, BuzzFeed, right. no jumpers coming for you motherfuckers, nigga. <laughs> this, is, this on no jumper budget. Ah, y lo me va a dar. Me da, y, y luego deme seis con sin queso. Deme tres ramen con birria. Y luego, si sí, deme tres vasos de chata y tres de jamaica. ¿Medianas o grandes? Grandes, por favor. What's your experience like with Mexican food, Andy? Honestly, bro, I love that shit, bro. Like, like burritos, but quesadillas, bro, it's like, yeah. But my boy, he put me on the, um, how you say it again? The, the, the consomme. That's just a game changer, bro. You know what I'm saying? And we got security with us, you know what I mean? Yeah, big stick. All right, let's start, let's start wait, this wait, off. Wait. I, I usually wait for the consomme, but. Yeah, I'm gonna wait for that too, so. Wait, some I never put lemon. I never put lemon in my tacos, but you know something better than I do. You like spicy food? Do I like spicy food? Yeah. yeah. Nigga, it depends. Is it like Mexican spicy or is it like yeah. nigga spicy? Mexican. No, you don't, you don't, have to, you don't answer that. It's Mexican. Right, Mexican. I don't know. It depends. The spice level. Okay, let spicy. me tell you this. Hot Cheetos, I can barely tolerate. Oh, then maybe don't need this. All right. But I, I want to wait for the consomme, but we could just try it like this, too. Let's go. Mamma mia. Oh, my God. It's really good. I think he made an extra cheesy everything because he knew we were recording it. Top three I ever had in my life. I'm just going to say that. Oh, From now on, I'm eating lemon with this every time. I've been hanging with the wrong motherfuckers. I put some more on there. It's the cheese, bro. No, no. Zoom in real quick on the bite. Kids, kids really fuck with the cheese part of it. The, so, it's a, a quasi fresco, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like melted cheese. Fun fact, bro. I was in fucking Costco as a little kid, and I had queso fresco cheese for the first time, and I was like, "This is the best fucking cheese I've ever had in my life." So you guys, horchata is really—it's not Mexican. I don't even think it's yes, Latino. It is? No, no, it's not. Where's it's not. Bro? I think it comes from like deeper roots. I think it comes from like the Aztecs. No, bro, actually, I think, if, if I'm not mistaken, when I read on it, I think it's somewhat African or some shit like that, for real. So you telling me niggas made pork chop, <laughs> y'all just took it I think and we, ran with it. I think we ran with it. Wow. It's, what? uh, it comes from Spain. I don't think that's, that's true. Close, that's close to Africa. They look, 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 look. Uh, in West African countries such as the Nigeria, Mali is known as a... They do say that. So basically, it could be from everywhere, I guess. Either way it goes. I'm kind of lactose intolerant, <laughs> so I drink the whole shit, but afterwards I'm on that toilet for show for show. You know what I mean? But this right here, this shit is next level right here. I'm ready, I'm ready for the Casame. You put that motherfucker. Casame. I've never had this, but the homies eat this all the time and tell me come here. But it's mm -hmm. they put the beer inside, so it's maybe like a couple notes. Oh, with the ramen in there too? With the ramen in there and you Ooh. mix it up. So we can dip this one too, right? Uh, I've, the never dipped, I've never dipped this one, but we can for sure put it. I'm about to live on the wild side. I gotta wait for the ramen to cook, but let me see. Cause you know, I'm a real top ramen nigga, you feel me? So I gotta give it the real test style. Mm. It tastes like top ramen, but the flavor is like enhanced to like times five. It's a, it's a good enhancement though. See, I'm used to having water in the top ramen. This give it like more flavor, make the noodles more. You got cow blood in your water now? This cow blood? Yeah, the, yeah you think about it. The oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, I fucking burn myself with him. Oh yeah, it is good. I ain't gonna lie, the whole time I've been coming here, I've been scared to try it, cause I'm like, oh, okay, you guys are doing a little too much. When I, when I was a kid, I didn't give a fuck. You know, I was a man that's just biting this shit, even though it was hot, but 
as you get older, a little bit older, you start caring about them. So you know, you're like. So right here, they have everything. Helado, which is ice cream, basically. They got esquites. They got motherfucking hot cheetos with cheese. Everything. Yeah, can I get an order of hot cheetos with cheese, please? You gotta get the big one when you're over here. It's called Jello Los Pepe. The flan. Like, see the flan? I'm not a big fan of shit like this, like flan and all that. But I am a big fan of hot Cheetos, especially with cheese. Yeah, a lot of lotus shit and all that shit is cool, but I keep it traditional and real. I ain't gonna lie. That looks fire. That's a diarrhea special, bro. <laughs> His insides is about to be. We got the elotes. We got the the, the, the how some how you say it again? The consomme. Consomme. We didn't get any of that then. Okay, well we almost had it. Yeah. We got I the bought good a beer Sonic. Here. He bought a Sonic. We got some good hot cheese with cheese. Some good esquite. Josh, can I see your esquite there real quick? Josh from Hash Brown Town eating good esquite there right here. You feel me? They don't have to do the Hash Brown Town. Adam, fuck you. Yeah, let us know where y'all should go next. AD got the. Oh, it's right I got a spot for it. I got a spot for it next. On trip. Hey man, look. This is part two. You know what I'm saying? Full review shows. Duno took us to his spot. You know what I'm saying? I said, I got to take you to one of my favorite spots. This is one of my favorite people right here. <laughs> Chef Val, head chef, executive chef, the greatest chef at Yamashiro. If you ever in LA, you come over here. We're going to show y'all what time it is. I ain't never been in the kitchen. She's gonna take us to the kitchen right you now. Come to my house. Let's go. Let's see this. I'm, 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 I'm ready. I am ready. Let's you go. guys, the scenery is crazy. You feel like you're at home. They play great music in the background. There's beautiful trees to make you be at peace. This is where you take your girl, man. You want to fall in love with you. You come, you, you, you come holler at Chef Val, man. She's gonna set the atmosphere for you. And the reason why I want to bring you to the kitchen is because you never see them. And they're the one that comes to real, really, really early to prep. And they're the one that are the culinary experts here. Wow. They're the one that makes the food. This is our sushi department here. What's up, guys? How y'all doing? Hey, ladies. Yeah. Hello. How y'all doing? How y'all doing? How y'all doing? Sushi yeah. comes out. This is our main kitchen right here. This is our hot kitchen. So this is the amazing staff. They do all the hard work. They're behind the scenes. You never see them, so they're here. What's up, man? So they all know who you, you guys doing, are. How you doing, man? What's up? How you doing, man? Much love, dude. Good. Appreciate you, you man. Good, bro. You're chilling, man. Yeah, your videos too, bro. Come on. Yeah, that's it. That's what I'm saying, BBC man. Going up. BBC is going up. So, Chef, tell them a little about your background. How did you come to this amazing establishment? Because your food is amazing. Well, I started off as a stay-at-home mom. Mm. And then they need a pastry chef here, and they asked me to be a pastry chef. And the pandemic happened, and they gave me the keys to this house. Woo! So, yeah. And it's been lit ever since. Yep, yep. First female executive chef. Wow. Yes. We have an amazing crew. We all work together as a team. And a lot of times you don't see them. And they're the one that stands up for eight hours straight. And we bring the food out all the time. And um, this building has been over 100 years old. So it looks very old, but we are here all together working as a team. And I can't do it without this guy. Chef Guillermo. Chef. So when I'm not here, he's the one helping me in the kitchen and bringing it together. So you guys sit down, we're gonna bring you some drinks and feed you guys. Oh, let's go. Now what is what is this, Chef? So we get a lot of orders of sushi boat, and it's a collection of all of our favorite uh, rolls and some nigiris and sashimi. So Ooh. if you don't eat sushi, you're gonna start eating it tonight. Yes. <laughs> Everybody, I don't know how to eat with chopsticks. Where's the other chopsticks? Honestly, I don't eat I don't eat with chopsticks the right way. You don't eat it the right way? I do it, but it's not the it's not necessarily the right way. So look, you grab it like this, Duno. You know what I'm saying? All right, toast. Oh, did I grab it right? Mm, oh my God! Mm, do this. Hey, you guys, let us know in the comments if you guys could eat and drink at the same time. I think it's the older people thing, to be honest. No, but not in a bad way. But like, like if I'm eating, I want like a soda or a juice type shit. You need water. So, are these the ribs? Those are my grandfather's recipe, the Ooh. soy ginger ribs. And what is this, chef? Well, this is a skirt steak. Oh! Asian, um, Oh yeah. This is, not, this is not on the menu yet, so. You guys wow. wow. Thank you, chef. We got exclusives today. You grab a you grab a rib with a chopstick. You know what I'm saying? And I'm using my hand. I don't give a fuck. That's what I'm saying. Let's go. Wow. The ribs, mamma mia. This shit is fire. So these are we need to eat our faster. French drumsticks. Oh. And a. 
spicy hoisin sauce. I don't know if you guys like spice. French drums. Yes. How you say it? Cheers to Karni. Cheers to Karni. Let's yes, go. Sir. Wow. What do you think is the most important thing when it comes to cooking? Love. It's, it's I mean, if you cook angry, you, it's going to show on you. So Mexican have the saying where they go like, that person tiene sazón. Sazón means like they have flavor. They, they love what they do. Yeah. So everything comes out better because with love, the food is better. Yeah, so you have to love what you do and it shows in the food and the recipe and everything else. Yeah. Fire. Yeah. And I love cooking. You gotta dip it in the sauce. Dip it in the yeah. sauce. He's scary. He, he, oh my oh, god. He hates spicy food. The whole thing. This the is whole amazing. thing. So when y'all watch this, y'all let them know that y'all seen the food review show. Ask for Chef Val. Don't ask for her. <laughs> Actually. <laughs> but ask for <laughs> what these called again, Chef? We're gonna call them 80s legs. Oh, 80s legs. We just said that. There we go. 80s legs. Hella excited. <laughs> That's what 80s legs. You heard it first on the menu. So would you take a recommendation that 80s legs might come with rice? Um, it's an appetizer, but oh, okay. you, you can add rice. rice. Rice, I know, I know. This is 80s legs, ain't do those legs, bro. No, no, saying, Don't try to add to the menu. Bro. I'm saying with the rice, it'll be fire. I'm just it's supposed saying. to come with spicy fries. Ooh, oh, okay. See, what is this right here? Tomahawk Ooh, steak. the tomahawk. Let's go. Dig in, dude. I want you. To, I want you to do the honors, my guy. For the tomahawk steak. For the tomahawk. Bro, are you really gonna get a tomahawk steak with your chopsticks? Chop no, we get a fork. I'll take this one. Bro, you supposed to eat a piece. They cut it for a reason. You cut this? No, what? the meat's right there. The meat is right here, Duno. <laughs> so why, so why oh you let me grab this? God. No one told you to grab that. I said do the honors. It's oh, cut up for you. Oh, don't be mad at me. I ain't never been here before. <laughs> Chef, slow mother's right here. That is so good. <laughs> oh, yeah. Duno, stop eating like a dinosaur, man. Eat one of these. Like nah, this is this is where this is where it's real. This is where it's real. That's where. It's, let me get some. <laughs> I'm playing, bro. <laughs> hey, we homies. Oh, so all this meat came from here. Uh huh. Okay. Is that is that what I think it is? This is A5, uh, the A5 waggle. Wow. <laughs> Damn. That smells fire. Oh yeah. That is crazy, dude. Yep, it's octopus. Chef doing it right here. And you know what this is, right? Waggle. It's the A5, man. That's cooked. A5. Eat that. Um, I'm chill. Relax. I'm asking. <laughs> no sauce, bro. Just eat it. It's hot. We're gonna burn yourself. <laughs> I've never had it before. Is it? Octopus is fire. It tastes like chicken. No. Not chicken. It got its own taste. Let's take a bite. It's octopus. Try it. Take a bite of the end. <laughs> <laughs> it's good, bro. Trust me. Let's go. Try it. Take a deep breath. What you think? You got to flip his because that's overcooked. Who wants it? That one is a 32 ounce cowboy steak. Marinated Whoa. and smoked shoyu. <laughs> that one better? And garlic. That's the one, Duno. <laughs> this is the one right here. Am I wrong for liking this more than the Wagyu? <laughs> you like it more than the Wagyu? Hell yeah. Pass me one, man. You're not full, right? A little bit, a little bit, <laughs> Chef. A little bit. You have dessert. You got to save for dessert, man. You have dessert. It's all right. Oh, Chef, just know I ain't chopping out on you. I ain't chopping out on you, Chef. No, no. you're not. Not at all. You have a big um, dessert boat coming out. Ooh, here we go. All of the desserts that we have, creme brulee, red velvet, um, chocolate cake, raspberry cake, so everything that we have in the house, all for you guys. Oh, fuck, I'm fucking fool. You can't be fooled, Duno. But next week I'm gonna hear Duno, you're fat. My favorite is the is the, is the the AD legs, man. What'd you name? The cowboy, the cowboy steak was fire. What was the sushi place you brought out, the last one? The Chef Valro. Oh, the Chef Valro. That shit was amazing because it had avocado, it had serrano peppers, all types of crazy shit in it. And the red velvet is fire right now. And you guys, presentation is everything. They came out with, with, with the marquitos, you feel me? You know, bottle service, you know, AD gets flashbacks when he sees bright candles pop out, you know what I mean? He was in, and then uh, you fool, you, you fool, you're retired. Bright candles. <laughs> so you're retired from the, from the bar, from the club life. Are you not? Yeah, but I didn't get it at first. Oh, okay. Oh. Nah, but you guys, we had an amazing time here. Shout out ID, being tapped in with Chef Val. Make sure, does Chef Val have an IG? Chef Val, yep. Follow Chef Val. And she's certified. I ain't gonna lie, bro. The video was crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah the video. Like, I never want regular cup of noodles again, bro. I know, that's crazy, yeah. It's like, like get the, put the water in there, get that out of my face now. But you guys, you gotta understand that, like, all foods come with hella culture behind it. Like, 
This shit came with crazy shit behind it. The BDI came with crazy shit behind it. But this right here, Chef really went all out for it. Like, man, I tried octopus for the first time, which was crazy because. I don't know, octopus kind of like, you from growing up in the hood, it's like, you eat octopus, ugh. You know, I ain't gonna lie though, man. Amazing. Yeah. Like, comment, subscribe, tune in for another one. Comment. Let us know some places maybe you guys would like to see us go in LA, anywhere in the city, really. Honestly, anywhere. Anywhere. Y'all want us to come out of town? We'll come out of town. You want us to come out the country? We'll come out the country. Eee! You want to put something in jail? Do not go to jail with you. What the fuck, no? All right, man, check it out. We got this contest, man. We hungry. Me and Duno, you see, we want the Yamashiro. So all we need you to do, follow Chef Val, follow AD, follow Duno, follow No Jumper. The best two comments, if you're in the LA area, you get to have dinner with us. It's that easy. A big ass meal has to be a fire comment. You have to be subscribed to No Jumper, following the page, follow me and AD on Instagram, and follow Chef Val, and tell Adam he's ugly, and let's get it. You're two winners. A fire ass meal. Fire ass meal with us, and it's the and, nice meal. I'm dressing up in a tuxedo. AD legs. The AD legs, yeah. Let's get it. Bow. And watch the show. We hungry, man.